Hi guys, my name's Alan and welcome to another episode. Today we're going to be looking at using mockups inside of Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo. You know, mockups are a great way for you to showcase, you know, your client's projects and you know, show it back to them so they can see their product as if it were, you know, the final finished product. You know, whether it be a, a web page, um, a logo design, a post, a flyer, a business card, there are many uses for mockups even if you were to use them to showcase your own work in your portfolio. So right now we're inside of Affinity Designer and I've got my first example open. And let's just go to my layers. And it's given the option that it says double click on your artwork. So that's the layer I need to click on. Now inside of Photoshop, that's what I would have done. I would have double clicked on this layer, it would have opened up and I would have been able to place my artwork here. It works slightly different inside of Affinity Photo. Of course, double clicking just zooms in and focuses on that layer. Let's just zoom back out. So because I've got this layer selected, I'm just going to head over to the Place Image tool and locate the file that I want to use. In this case, this picture. Open and just click and drag. And actually, let's just turn off the original double click layer. And there we go. You can see it works nicely and fits nicely inside of this frame. And let's just select the layer again and maybe just drag this up a little bit more. There we go. It works nicely inside of this picture frame. Now, the second example I've got is of this t-shirt in this wonderful um, lime green color. So let's change that first of all. Let's select the shirt color down here. Let's change this to black. And over here, I've got this layer. Um, it says image hair, remove this, place your image hair. So let's do that. Place image tool again select uh, an, um, a logo that you may recognize and let's just click and drag that in here and let's just turn off the original uh, layer there and the great thing about this one is as i zoom in you can see as i move this logo around it actually wraps a mask around this layer here this t-shirt which is really nice so the mock-ups do work really well inside of affinity designer and especially you know a great way to showcase you know your clients work back to them again you know even for your own portfolio and you know as i zoom in here you can see it's actually picking up all the t-shirt and material and cotton inside of the um let's select again the logo as i drag it around you can see it's actually picking up the ripples from the side of that t-shirt so they work really well inside of um, affinity software again a further example i've got here is of this macbook so in this example, what I want to do really is display a web page. So let's open the MacBook layer here, and I've got a group here for the display. Let's just lay this out. So really, it needs to go under this layer here. So again, place image tool. And this time, I'm going to use uh, this here, Mango. It's actually an Affinity Designer file, so it's a mock-up for a fictional client um, that I did for this web page. Let's click on Open. And let's just click and drag that in. And you can see this time it hasn't, oh, there we go. And let's drag it underneath. There we go. And let's just scale this down a little bit so it fits in nicely with inside um, of the screen here. There we go. You know, I have a great way to, you know, showcase, you know, your web design or even sending it back to a client. And again, if I select the layer, I can just maybe just resize that and just pull that in a little bit. There we go, just so it fits in a bit better. And the M sort of settings up on the screen there. Let's just drag this in a bit. Because the menu bar went off the screen there. There we go. So you can see how, you know, using mock-ups inside of Affinity Designer, they work really well. It's just a slightly different way of, of using it. Now, I'm gonna switch over to Affinity Photo and show you how it works inside of here. So the first one I've got is, this time it's a jumper. Um, and again, you know, it says your design here. So I'm going to come to the file menu and I'm going to choose place. And I'm going to use the logo I used earlier for that t-shirt inside of designer. And I'm just going to click and drag. The difference is this time, as you can see, uh, let's turn off the original layer here. This time it's not picking up the, the cotton and the material of this jump here. So it's not a problem. What I can do in this case, I'm just going to make sure the layer is selected. I'm just going to change the blending mode. Uh, now, in this case, something like exclusion works really well. So depending on the logo you use, um, you know, do play around with your blend mode to see what best results that you get from your, your logo or your design. In this case, exclusion works really well. And again, I can just, you know, line this up and resize this down. 
Um, in this case now, you can actually see the material coming through um, the actual logo in this case. And let's just line that up better. There we go. So the last example I want to show you is this billboard. Now, um, let's just select the layer over here where it says your post or double click. And again, you know, Photoshop, um, I would have double clicked and it would have been easy for me just to place it in there. Again, it's slightly different inside of uh, Affinity Photo. Again, I'm going to come to the menu bar and choose File and Place. And actually this time, I'm going to use an Affinity Photo file. Um, and it's an actual mock-up of a post that I worked on for somebody. So let's click on Open. And I'm going to click and drag. And let's just drag this underneath. There we go. Let's just scale it down a little bit. Now, you can see the problem I'm having with this one is because the billboard in this situation is at an angle, it's actually not lining up as I like. But that's not a problem. Uh, let's head over to the perspective tool. And let's just zoom in. Now I've got these four corners here. What I want to do is just match them up so they line up with this billboard. So even if you do have a you know, mock-up and it doesn't actually fit quite right, then you can use the tools available just to um, make a few tweaks and make sure that works. You can see this is the first time out of all of the mock-ups I've used today um, that I've had to actually use this. Um, there we go, and let's hit apply. Let's just zoom back out. Let's click um, off the screen there, there we go. And there we go. I've actually been able to um, place this poster design inside of this billboard mock-up inside of Affinity Photo. You know, so mock-ups do work inside of Affinity Photo and, and Designer. Um, sometimes you may just have to make a few tweaks and you just may experience a few differences compared to using your mock-ups inside of Photoshop. So there you go, guys. That's how you use mock-ups inside of Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo. Thanks for watching.